there guys, it's LPS Phoenix here, and today I am going to show you all of my LPS customs. Well, most of them. I will be showing you them in the order that I made them, starting with the first to the most recent. Um, in the middle, they might not be in perfect order because I can't exactly remember and I don't want to play into it, it's being really weird right now, but yeah. So, time for the first one. So the first up is this custom of a G3, I think it's a G3, um, Polly. Yeah, she's definitely not the best. The paint was actually a lot better, but then when I sealed it, it got really, really streaky. And the eyes aren't the best either, but I do still like her. Her name is K.O. Named after a wolf in a book, so I don't know what to name. So, yeah. She is mostly gray, as you can tell, with some purple details. Next one. Next up is this horse. I am actually quite proud of her. She's better than, some, than my next three, actually. Her name is Cassidy, after one of my friends. Really know what she really don't really like mess up the eye can really they really don't like it wish I could fix. Now is the eyes, like right there, you can see. Like maybe you can see. But yeah, right there, it's like out of the socket. Like the eyes here, and then it, it's hard to it's hard to show the camera. It's a lot more noticeable here. Yeah, I wish I could just fix up the eyes. But yeah, it's too late to do that when I was fixing the backup. So yeah. Just a little like Next up is this box. Um, I named her Myra. The design is actually one that my friend came up with, and she actually painted the body, and then I did the head. Yeah, I was quite proud of her when I made her, I just wish... Wait, the paint I was using is kind of thick, so there's a lot of streaks. But, yeah. The eyes are probably the best eyes, might be like the best, like, style I've ever done. Like, the way, the technique or whatever. Well, not technique, but like... Uh, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. So, yeah, well, let's just get to the is this turtle. Um, her name is Electra to, Electrobot 2000. I just call her Electra. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about her. Other than that, but I painted the silver part, but then it took me a long time to actually be able to do, like, these, because I didn't have a brush that was thin enough. But now I have, like, probably about 20 brushes, most of them are detail brushes, so, yeah. I like how the eyes turned out, though. This one, she's quite old, but, yeah. Next one. So the next one is this raccoon named Valentina. I, I'm sure you can figure out why. Okay, focus. Focus is being all wacko. The camera actually makes her look a lot better than she really, like, in condition than she really is. She has a lot of streaks on her, and the color is actually not, is actually more is actually a lot more green here or whatever. But the camera isn't. I'm kind of glad, I, I like what the camera's doing, to making her look better. But it's, she's not, she actually has a lot more streaks. You can kind of see them there, and yeah. Next one, the best one. Sorry, with my more good wait, what? I'm just gonna read some. So next up is the zombie beaver, aka zombie beaver. That doesn't really make much sense. It was the only name I could come up with. Uh, most of the next ones, except for my most recent, are made from fake LPS, and I just realized I forgot to get them. I will get it to the next once I stop this one. But yeah, you if you watched that fake LPS video, um, then you or my other old custom video, which will probably have been deleted by the time this goes up, then you should have seen this one. And yeah, this eye took actually a while, which might surprise you, just because after I sealed it, it fell into black paint, and like there was black paint all along here, so I had to repaint that and reseal it. And yeah, next, next up is Anari, spelled I N A R I, by the way. Um, I actually made the design for her a long time ago, but I didn't have a, da a dash on base, and I got the fake, the fake dash on, so I finally made her, and I love her. And again, she is not this bright, she, she doesn't have nearly as many streaks as that raccoon, but the back of her head is kind of dirty, and my camera doesn't seem to pick that up, which like I said, it's good, but I kind of did show how it actually was. Well, probably for, like, if I close my window, I might show it, but I'm not going to close my window, so yeah. Next one, so next up is this chihuahua. She does not have a name yet, but I, she was kind of just a random custom. I kind of just made the design and because, yeah, and I made him. I don't really have much to say about him other than I do really like him. I said that a lot, don't I? Next custom! So this one, it is one of my favorites. You can probably tell why. Um, because this was, I think, the most, like, involved custom other than just Fox and the Zombie Beaver. It's definitely one of the more complex ones. And I never even planned on making it. Yeah, I never planned on that, but whatever. I never planned on making it, just I was doing ombre on one of the wings and I liked it so much. I decided to just make an attack custom, and yeah, so I've got, and I love her. She does not have a name yet. I came up with one, but I forgot it, so I just call her Blue Cup Fairy, because why not? So the next one is a custom of my real-life dog, Dottie, one of my three dogs. Uh, yeah, she, she has, I don't think she has this many spots, and she does, they're not nearly as pronounced. And this is actually supposed to go back if I went down for some reason. So yeah, she's not exactly like the real one, but wait, she has, I think the most, my favorite part is possibly right here, this shoulder, the spot, you can kind of see that it has a brown on it. Her, her shoulder is actually like that, so yeah. It doesn't look exactly like her, but she's one of my favorites. Because one, I just really like it. 
to turn it real long, so yeah. I try to make customs or get an LPS that look like all of my real animals and family's animals. So yeah, I still have my other dog, my two cats, and then a dog that my grandma and grandpa are hopefully in because I have another dog, I made a custom of them because, um, one, like I said, I'm gonna try and get, because one, like I just said, yeah, trying to get one that looks like all our animals. And also because he was probably going to die soon because he's old and had diabetes and he did die two months ago, so yeah. Um, I'll try to put the picture in somewhere. So yes. Now onto my most recent and very possibly most favorite custom ever. Meet Cecil. Mm, yes, he is definitely my favorite custom and possibly the hardest one because the eyelashes weren't intended to look like this, just to kind of like smear it off to the side or something. I remember exactly what happened, so I kind of just followed it along. Now I like how it looks. So she was originally a calico cat, but I did not like how it looked. The only reason I got it is because I'm a cat, it's a calico cat. But I didn't, I didn't really like how, how it looked, so I recustomized it. And yeah, I made it into this. She was originally going to have a crown and like a scar thingy on her eye, or like a cut above her eye, but I decided that'd just, too, like, that'd just be too much. So yeah. I say, I say, so yeah, a lot. A lot. So yeah. I <laughs> just did it again. Anyways, this is Sosa, and it's spelled S A O C I L. It's an animal made up by the back. So yeah, I really need to stop saying that. 